Hello, I'd like to explain my lesson plan portfolio. I pick these five. Vocabulary, writing, speaking, listening, and phonics. Let me start from vocabulary. It's for third graders science class. Their topic is water cycle. Main objective of this course class is to learn evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. They start from drawing in group. Teacher will tell them to draw fan, cloud, mountain, river, and ocean. Also, teacher introduce two new words, atmosphere and ground. <coughs> and teacher ask them about rain. Where it is from? Where does it go? And student will have a discussion and share in group. After discussion, teacher will explain evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. Children need to cut this label and paste on their drawing. Teacher will go around check student work and collect this drawing after the class and post them in the classroom. Next lesson is about writing. It's third grader social studies. Learning af after a learning world map, I'd like to explain latitude, longitude, and time zone. I got the text from Wikipedia. Before start, teacher will give them handout. It's keyword chart. Student will check keywords in this lesson, and while teacher reading the textbook, they will circle these keywords in the textbook. After reading out, they will talk about what latitude is and they describe what the latitude is in their words. If it's difficult, they can draw or make sign. It's in group work and they will try to describe each keyword. And after that, individual work. Try to explain what they learn about latitude, longitude, and time zone. They will write in 300 words. It's practice to summarize. Next lesson is about speaking in the five grade learning about models, especially difference between definitely, probably, and might. Student will give them handouts What's your plan? And student teacher will lead this conversation while listening. Student will check difficult words. And teacher will explain about the models, definitely, probably, and might, using this line. And second leading conversation, after that, they will answer to the question. Also, they will work on speaking practice about the Nathan and Blizzard. In group, they will discuss what he will do after Nathan, and you can replace Nathan to yourself and talk about what you will do if he were you. Followed by Blizzard, and lastly, survey activity using the model. Another lesson plan is about listening. It says, Seventh graders after learning contraction. First, they will teacher will write a sentence aboard. I'd like to play baseball with my friend. Teacher will try to explain what's stress or what is non-stress, weak form. If it's hard for student to tell the difference, teacher will use Noise maker to show stressed one or non stressed one, big form. And then using the examples from video, teacher will try explain again and have student to circle stressed word and underline unstressed, big form. Practice again and teacher will ask what kind of words. 
will become weak form. And watch the video. After watching the video, follow up by this worksheet. Student will read them aloud first, circle stressed word, and underline weak form. When getting used to reading aloud with the sentence, they can also hide these sentences by folding along this broken line and just repeat teacher while looking at the, only the picture. And this is further practice. They will listen to a recording and fill out the blanks as a dictation. Last lesson plan is about phonics. It's first grader after learning alphabet, big letters and small letters, starting by ABC song with this ABC chart. They will sing the song and teacher show the pictures and student will answer the words and practice the words and teacher will show the letter cards using flashcards. Teacher introduce the name of the letter B and the sound of the letter B. C, D as well. After this practice, they will work on worksheet. Student need to cut the picture and paste on the appropriate group. For example, they cut banana and they will paste in this B group. And then next writing practice, but before that, teacher will explain there are tall, short, and tail letters in lowercase letters. And then they will practice writing using works. After writing practice, there are small activity in three, three students. First student will write or show the capital letter card. And second student will put the lowercase letter according to the big letter. And then the third student will check if it's correct. This is their homework, followed by further work. Okay, I guess that's the end. This is my lesson plan portfolio. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.